Hey guys, back with another video. We got some mystery boxes today. So I have a uh, giveaway win from Joe at Don't Pop Leaving. I have two mystery boxes from Jason at Pop Life Toys that were $20 each shipped and it was a grail or fail and he's a really cool guy. I'll talk about it later. And I also have the seven bucks a pop uh, Easter mystery box. So uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, before we get into it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell if you're a fan of the channel. All right, so let's get into it first. We will open up the giveaway first. I forget exactly what this was. Um, but, ah, uh, shoot. I taped, uh, I think I could. Uh, here, okay. Bear with me, guys. We got a sticker. His sticker. It's kind of a cool sticker. It's like uh, an arrowhead kind of. Oh, it's uh, that's exactly what it is. It's like him as the green arrow or something. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so I won, uh, this from him. I actually had, I think, yeah, this is the one I, I already had this one, but, you know, it's cool and now I have one for either add a box or I'll maybe sell the other one. So I think the other one may have been damaged. I don't really remember, but so I got this one. It's really cool. Yeah, so All right, so let's open up Jason's boxes next from uh, Pop Life Toys. So Jason is a guy in the community. He uh, uh, does a lot on YouTube, a lot of live streams. Not, I don't think he has any videos. Like recorded videos. He mainly just does live streams. 
but he's a good supporter of the community and he actually did last week or the week before he did a uh, a live stream every night of the week for charity so he would ask people to sell things and then or he would raise money for charity and he raised like i think he said almost two thousand dollars for charity to fight uh you know with everything that's going on so you know at 20 bucks a box you know you can't really go wrong so and you know whatever so i know there's been some controversy over his boxes but come on guys like he's part of the community he's a good guy you see what he does so you shouldn't really treat it like a big box. Uh, you know, like a, if uh, Hot Topic decided to do mystery boxes, you shouldn't give him the same stuff. He's, I mean, uh, you know, you know what I mean. It's on the outside. I thought it was on the inside. It's on the outside. Also, this is the uh, his logo is uh, Blucas. There's a story behind it. I'm not gonna go into the story. It's sort of his to tell. But, uh, you know, if you ever, if you want to know the story behind this pin, hit him up. But this is a limited pin. There's a limit to 100 pins. So he's only, he only made 100 of these pins. I think he has the non-sparkle, the non-glitter ones that are just, you know, he makes them, but this is the chase pin, if you will. Oh, I see, that's cool. So he has two chases. He made two chase pins. He made uh, the glitter pin, this one, and then he has a glow in the dark chase also. So that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, go check him out on YouTube. He's actually, he actually just did, because when you see this video, he'll have done a um, 300 subscriber blowout live stream. So go check that out. You can watch it on replay. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a cool um you know, fun time. But so here is the um, here's what I got in the box. It's Fallout Excavator Armor. So I've never played this game, but 
you know, I, he's a cool looking guy. Like he definitely catches your eye when you're in a store or if it's just sitting on your shelf. But I don't play the game and, but it's cool. It's, uh, Yeah, it's in good condition. I know that's been a complaint by a lot of people. So, I mean, or not by a lot of people, by some people. And, you know, just... Uh, so, No pain this time, but I think he uh, just randomly put pins in the boxes, so it was cool that I got one. But um, Alex Armstrong, Full Metal Alchemist. This is cool. It's a GameStop exclusive, so... And these were both 2018 pops. So that's cool. Um, I've never watched Full Metal Alchemist. I heard it's pretty good, but I don't know. Animation's just not my thing. But maybe I'll check it out, you know, give it a try. Looks like he's glittered, too. I'm not sure if you could see that. Yeah, you can kind of see that. See, he's... So that's pretty cool. I wonder if that has any significance to why he's glittered. But... I don't know. He looks like a killer. Like a, a thug or something. I don't know. I'm not familiar with him because I don't watch the show, but that's a cool one. Uh, so let's just do this with all mystery boxes. I like to see what they're worth. Not that, I mean, for this mystery box in particular, I don't really care. Because, like I said, I'm just supporting him, and at twenty dollars a box shipped, you can't really go wrong. That's what most of the boxes are, you know. At the end of the day, ooh, wow! This one's twenty-five bucks. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize any of the Full Metal Alchemists were worth anything, really. But that's cool. And this one's nine bucks. So, you know, on one of the boxes, I made my money back. Plus five bucks. So, that's pretty cool. Again, not that it matters. You know, like I said, I'm just supporting him and what he's doing for the community and, 
you know, he's he's a cool guy. Check him out. He's a nice guy. He gives away a lot. He helps out other people. You know, just check him out. So now I am going to open the seven bucks a pop Easter Mc Easter box. I think I forget how much this was. I think I ordered. I should have looked it up. Actually, let me, I can look it up really quick. Hold on. Let me just open the box first. Okay, they came in sorters. Um, by the way, the top pole of Jason's boxes was the lime sour patch kid. If anyone's wondering why, you know, like if there was anything, there were a couple of other ones. I think like um, the Hollywood Chester Cheeto. Or the glow in the, I don't know, one of them, the one that's worth more money. And then there was a couple, there were a couple of other ones that were uh, worth some money. Um, well, let's see. So the McEastery box, so I bought four of them for a total of $76, you know, after shipping and everything. I think it must have been like $15 a box. And then the shipping was, uh, actually the shipping was kind of expensive, I think, 16 bucks. But I wanted to try it out. And I think, actually, I think it comes in um, all their boxes come in, uh, or all their pots come in pot protectors, their pot protectors. So that was the other thing. And I think you also get coupons in this for their stuff. So... Or no, it was, I think it was $19 a box. That's what it was. It was 19 bucks a box. So it was, it was 72 bucks a box, or $72 total. So only $4 shipped. So that's, I mean, you know, they're a bigger company. They do a lot of uh, shipping and, you know, they, they sell a lot to like help you out. But okay, so this is the Easter egg. I think they said they had an Easter egg in every box. So this is the Easter egg. But, uh, so, and I think these are the coupons or something. Yeah, so each of these come with $7 coupons. So that's another reason, like, 
you buy it, it's pretty much $12 a box because you're getting the, the coupons to spend on their other stuff. So, all right, so let's see what this one is. Oh, this is just whatever. But yeah, this one, ooh, Peasant Bell. That's cool. It's a 2016 pop too, so that's that's pretty cool right there. You know. So yeah. She's carrying her little basket. That's pretty that's pretty cool. Ah, and here's their bubblegum, their trademark. Bubblegum. Got two of them. They they send bubblegum in every in all their boxes. Even I think even the ones that you just buy from them. So that's pretty cool. Uh here we got another one. I already know what this is, <laughs> but let's open up. I think these are all just going to be the same. I don't think they're, uh... yeah, they're all just seven bucks. Seven dollar coupons, so I won't open the rest of those. We got more gum. So we got, uh, oh, this is cool. This is the Morphin, Morphin exclusive GameStop Red Ranger. So, see, yeah, it's like, I'm not sure. I never really watched the show. The show was kind of uh, after me a little. I was like a teenager when the show was around and like it just never appealed to me. But it's a pretty cool one. Um, yeah. So I know a lot of people hate they ship with packing peanuts. I know a lot of people hate those. Because they just go everywhere. So.
right? Regular pieces. All right, I'm not gonna bother with opening these. They're all the same. But that's another reason why you buy these boxes. They don't do a lot of mystery boxes, though. I think people said this was only the third one they did. They did this one, a Thanksgiving one, and a New Year's Eve one, I think. So maybe it's going to be like on the holidays they drop one. So. All right, so what's this? Ooh, Ray. Walmart exclusive. Or Walgreens exclusive. That's pretty cool. Not a Star Wars collector, but I do like the um, Mandalorian ones, the way they look. I think they're kind of cool. This one doesn't have a date on it. So, under. Oh, it says it's a Force Awakens pop. So that one is it's old. Force Awakens was maybe five years ago. Well, that's a it's a pretty old pop. It might have some value. What what the polls were in this, but like I said, I, essentially twelve bucks a box because you're uh, getting coupons, getting seven dollar coupons. Like you can't really go wrong. And they do have a lot of stuff on their site. You know, it's seven bucks a pop, so. They get uh, they, a lot of their pops are seven bucks, so you can't go wrong with that. And they also sell damaged pops, so if you need something for your out of box collection, you can go over there and they'll have it. So, more to come. It's, I think it's green apple. Yeah, apple flavored gum. So, apple, grape, and regular. That's what we got. Gum's kind of cool. I mean, it's a nice little throw in. And it's the good gum. It's not the crappy aspartame gum that most people, most companies sell now. Ooh. Okay. This one's cool. So Lex Luthor exclusive DC Legends of Collectors. Legion of Collector. It's Lex Luthor in his mech suit. So that one's really cool. I don't know if this is worth anything, but you know, I think, I don't even think they do this box anymore. I don't think they do the Legend Legion of Collectors box. But, so it looks like you could have either gotten the Lex Luthor or the Bane. Or maybe you got the one in one and one in the other. 
you know, like consecutive boxes. But so that's cool. It's a pop that you could have only gotten from a subscription. So I'm really happy with that. And, uh, ooh, this one doesn't even have a barcode on the bottom because it's exclusive. So we'll have to uh, type that one in. Lex Luther. Oh, here it is, 12 bucks. So it's not really worth anything, but it's still a really cool pop. I mean, you know, especially since you can't get it from uh, stores or anything. Let's see, so the Ray one is eight bucks. So I don't know, I thought she'd be a little more since she was an exclusive and uh but it's from 2016, so that's pretty cool. So this one, the Red Ranger is six bucks, really? That's weird. Why is it only six bucks? It's pretty cool. And the Power Rangers has a huge following. It's from 2017, it's vaulted. So who knows, maybe, Maybe if they ever make a good movie of the Power Rangers, it'll go up in value. This is eight bucks. So, but it's from 2014. That's weird. It says it's still available. Could have pop that all be available. That's weird. But uh, actually, I'm kind of curious as to when the Lex Luthor pop uh, 2017. So I know because I've tried to look to subscribe to that box that it's no longer being made. So, uh, you know, and even if it was still being made, you wouldn't be getting, it's like the Marvel Collector Core. They just put in new, it's a new theme every time. So you don't get, they don't reproduce the pop. So, but, I don't know how many, I don't know, but either way, it's pretty cool. All of these, I got, I think, three exclusives, and this one that's from 2014, so it's pretty cool. And like I said, I have, I bought four boxes, so I have $28 in coupons from seven bucks a pop so I can order other stuff from them, other pops. I don't, their armor is not, you can't use these coupons on their pop armor, but you know, if they ever have 
they have some cool stuff on their site, so I'll check it out. But see if they have anything that I want. Because I'm not going to, I don't even know if it's available on the mystery box. But these coupons are in, I mean, they don't run a lot of mystery boxes. So uh, I'm not going to be waiting around for those. But, you know, so, we'll see. But so I didn't get value in these boxes, but like I said, the Jason, Jason's boxes, I just bought to support him because he's a good guy and, you know, it wasn't a ton of money. You're spending, you know, anywhere from 12 to $15 retail on a box. On a pot, and then you know, if you're buying from a place that charges shipping, you're gonna spend another five dollars on a pot. So, 20 bucks is kind of retail, and you know, um. But yeah, so that's going to be it for the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And hit that notification bell if you are, if you're enjoying these videos and you want to see more. I am, might stop releasing every day because especially on, I have a bunch of videos in the queue. But, you know, I'm running out and there's not a ton of, it's not like you can go to the store and get new content. Because the other thing I was doing was I was doing taste tests and, you know, you can't really do taste tests on, uh, you know, where I, <laughs> it's kind of hard to order that stuff now. You know, you can't really just go to this dollar store and get dollar store taste tests anymore. So uh, I'll have to think about how I'm going to be releasing these videos going forward. Um, maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday or something like that. And then... Who knows? Maybe four times a week. I'll have to see how many videos I have. I mean, I also have a lot of stuff that I already had that I want to unbox or show off, you know, show you guys my collection and what I collected before I got it. I started this video, this channel, and started collecting pops and you know some of the stuff I get is intended for uh resale and trades and that kind of stuff but I do collect a bunch of stuff so you know and I have like I said I have a lot of other stuff that I'm gonna, that I used to collect that you guys should see. So that's it. See you guys next time. Bye.